Good evening, shit sippers. It's another exciting Northern Badger Football League 2014. So here we go. 12 teams. One dream. Who's it gonna be? Ain't gonna be fucking Apple River again. MJ ain't that lucky. You'll do everything with the same old lies when I can't even try. Let's first take a look at the action from the Baron Division. From week one. Notice that I am one clever son of a bitch. The score is reflected in the jersey number of the team uniform. Jordy Creek at home, 50. Rockman's Trash Talking Woods, 38. Peterson predicted that Fuzzy would be at the bottom of the standings. But look at the woodchuck bury himself a big fucking hole. It was the unlikely combination of the San Francisco defense swiping DeMarco Murray of a football and Jeremy Macklin coming off an injury that took the creek to victory. It would have to be the shittiest game of the week between two shitty brothers. It was Sean Carr's self Doherty Mudjackers, 26 over a successful franchise formerly known as the Poskin Pike 19. We'd have highlights. Who gives a fuck? Let's move on to the next game. Wickware, Boo Radley taking down those fish. Yellow River Muskies, 44 to 38. And why the game fish got a good effort from Peanut Head, Matt Ryan. But fucking beast mode took Wickware to victory. Stop the beast. In the game of the week, Smiley Free Tag, 66, Horseshoe Buck, 60. Does anybody feel bad for Mitch Dietrich getting the second highest points of the week and yet still falling? No, because he's a Republican. Defending champion, Apple River Hillbilly, are victorious by 10 over those dirty dogs. MJ still has the ball rolling and looks to repeat in 2014. And in a battle of two Sacco Bowl winners, Sacco Bowl winners, Upper Turtle still shows they suck by dropping a close contest to the Maple Grove Beefers, 41 to 45. Can both teams repeat as a Sacco? No, but maybe with ties? Yes, maybe they can. Remember, sports fans, ties are good for America, just like soccer is good for America, and the metric system. And those thin wheat crackers the fucking Swedes like to eat all the time. It's good for America. So here's hoping everybody gets a participation ribbon.